Hi, in this lecture, let's understand the user plane connectivity between the user device and the core network. Previously, we have seen how the registration, initial registration is happening between the device and the core network in 5G. In this lecture, we'll see that while we are transferring the user data between the user device and the core network, how the PDU session is getting established. This is similar scenario in 4G where the EPS bearer is getting set up between the device and the core network in 4G. So PDU session is getting established normally when UE is requiring some kind of services to avail and want to have a user plane to be activated between the device and the core network. Or it could be a network tri triggered also. A network could also trigger a PDU session towards the user device. Now how it works, the first step in this case where we are talking about the UE initiated PDU session. So UE is asking or sending a request to the AMF and it is giving all the details depending upon such as the PDU session ID, what it wants to activate, the kind of service depending upon the slice it is using. So it will inform about the NSSAI, which slice it wants to use. Then further, AMF will determine that the message which is coming from the UE, is it for a new PDU session or is there any PDU session ID which is already enabled with the similar ID which is being provided by the UE. So after that, if the NAS message, this message which is coming from the UE does not contain a slice information, then AMF will determine it for the requested PDU session, either depending upon the UE subscription, what kind of UE subscription it is holding, or depending upon the settings which has been made by the operator in that case for this particular user. Now next to that is uh, selection of SMF. So the PDU session request which is coming from the UE will send to the SMF which is a session management function through the AMF. So in this case it will pass on all the information which has been given by the UE such as the uh, identifier of the user, the uh, slice information, the PDU session ID and it will also give the information about its itself also. So it gives the AMF ID also. Now if the SMF has not yet registered for this given PDU session, so what it does is it basically register with the UDM. So it goes to the UDM, get the subscription data from the UDM. So it will get all the details from the UDM and store it. If it is not available here at the UDM, it will search for the similar information in the UDR which we have seen in the previous slides. So it will fetch that data or information from the UDR in that case. Now from the SMF, once it gets the information or the subscription data for the UE, then it what it does is it goes back to the AMF. So here in this case, it will create a session management context response. And in that case, what it does is it goes back to the AMF and it, this response is depending upon the request which is received earlier. So if say for example, the SMF has received a PDU session to be created, the SMF is able to process that PDU session establishment request. The SMF creates a as SM context in the in this case. So once that SM context is made, the SMF then selects one or more UPF depending upon the requirement. So before that, what it does is basically so far the PDU session authentication has been done, and now after this, they have to select the PCF, which PCF it will be associated with this particular PDU session ID will be associated with. So this is the initial level of authentication which has been done between these different devices in the core network. After that, what is going to happen is the SMF is going to select one or more UPF depending upon the requirement. So in case the PDU session, say for example here, the UPF selection will be done by SMF. So in case of PDU session type, say for example IPv4 or IPv6, the SMF will allocate an IP address. So we understood that SMF is the one which allocates the IP address. So that particular information will be passed on here in this case. After that, there will be a modify request of the session. If, say, for example, uh, there is an end for session establishment or a modification request which has to be passed on from the SMF to the UPF uh, related to the some kind of enforcement to be done or some kind of reporting rules to be installed on the UPF for this particular PDU session that will be done at this particular step. Now, after that, the UPF will acknowledge by sending a particular N4 message that, okay, the session which has been uh, asked for, it has been established and it has been modified. Next to that is the step number nine, where the SMF is talking to the AMF. So in this particular uh, state, what will happen is whatever the information which came from the UPF, uh, be it related to the QS profile, be it related to the slicing which is allowed for this PDU session, be it related to the QF QFI which is to be uh, selected depending upon the QS, that all these things will be done at this particular stage. Now, after that, what will happen is AMF will go back to the G node B 
So it will talk to the radio access network where in this case N1, N2. So N1 is a transparent mode, uh, which is the connectivity between the AMF and the user equipment. So N1, N2 PDU session request, which is containing the session management container, it will go back to the G node B and it says that, okay, this is the N2 request, which is coming from the AMF and going to the G node B. Next to that, the G node B and the user will talk to each other in this case, if Say, for example, the radio access network may issue access network specific signaling exchange within the UE that is related to the information which is received from the SMF. For example, in case of NGRAN, the RRC connection reconfiguration may take place. Uh, so in that case, what will happen in, in that case, the UE is establishing the necessary NGRAN resources related to the QoS rules for the PDU session, which has been requested earlier. So next to that is the acknowledgement that okay the PDU uh, session which has been requested has been given now it is the response going back to the AMF. AMF will continuously talk to the SMF on the background but then what will happen is the, the actual user plane data will start happening between the UPF and the user in that case. So the user plane connectivity started happening in this case and in the background what will happen is the point number 6, 7, 8 if you see these will continuously happening. There will be a modification of the session, PD session, depending upon the requirement that will keep on happening uh, on the background. And in this case, what will happen is there is a background connectivity with the internet data network also with the UPF. And then there will be a first download or downlink data that will start happening uh, between the core network and the user equipment. So there is N6 connectivity, which is between the UPF and the internet overall. So this is the overall scenario of how the PDU session is getting established, uh, which is being triggered by the UE. So it is a UE initiated PDU session in this case. Thank you very much.